Alright, now I'm not going to beat around the bush with this video. I'm going to be talking about mukbang and why I think it could be potentially dangerous for a couple of reasons. Now, in order to understand why I think it could be dangerous, we first need to understand what mukbang is. Well, according to Wikipedia, mukbang is an audiovisual broadcast in which a host consumes food while interacting with the audience. Now, is there inherently anything bad about this concept? No. But, like with everything in life, you have people who take it too far. And I have two examples of people who take it too far in different ways. The first and probably most infamous example of a mukbanger, I don't know whether, that, whether that's what they're called, but that's what I'm gonna call them, is Nikocado Avocado, who you may have seen in various videos recently due to some drama that I'm not gonna get into because to be honest, I don't really care. But this person consumes large quantities of fast food from various different restaurants on camera and rants about it. So it's basically Boogie 2988, but less interesting. And I'm not gonna lie, this I think is wrong. Why do I think this is wrong? Well, let me tell you something. What you choose to eat is up to you. It's your own prerogative. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. I wouldn't even tell myself how to live my life. But when you have an audience that could potentially consist of children, because let's face it, as much as we all say there are no kids on YouTube, if that was the case, Morgs wouldn't still have 10 million subscribers, would he? When you have a potentially young audience, I feel like you have a responsibility to that audience to promote good habits and to instill those good values in those people. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be the kid's parents. What I am saying is you should be giving them the right information and not glorifying something, in my opinion, that could be potentially harmful to them. And it's evidently harmful to other people as well. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you two images. This is Nico before he started mukbanging. And this is Nico now. Now, obviously, as I say, there is nothing wrong with eating whatever you want because i'm not like that but i feel like when you have an audience of young people you have a responsibility to act responsibly in your videos and i personally think that what nico does here is very irresponsible showing someone eating large quantities of food that big and not good food either fast food food that's not good for you if you look at the calorie intake and all that sort of stuff showing that and then glorifying it and making it out to be something of an accomplishment i don't agree with it i don't agree with the mentality behind it i also think that putting your own health at risk the views is a very slippery slope to go down and one that I personally don't think is a good idea. It goes back to that sort of YouTuber mentality of fame at any cost. And in this person's mind, that means, hey, if I become extremely unhealthy, that's fine because I'm making views. Now, in my opinion, that's very dangerous and a very poor mindset to have. The second person I wanted to talk about in this video is so young. She actively murders the animals on camera. Now, I'm not going to claim to be vegan, so some people could argue that I'm just as bad by letting animals be killed. Difference is, though, I wouldn't film it and put it on the internet, and I personally think that it's just vile. I think it's bizarre that stuff like that is allowed on the internet. I'm just shocked that stuff like this is allowed on YouTube when we can't even say heck without getting demonetized. Personally, for me, that is a really disgusting, horrible act. And again, something that shouldn't be glorified at all. In my opinion, there is nothing more harmful than A, actively killing things on camera, killing something live for the entertainment of other people. Those animals that So Young kills would be screaming if they could. I just think it's disgusting and shouldn't be allowed on this platform. This is what the media thinks YouTube is. This is giving mainstream media ammunition against YouTubers, against good content creators. Nine out of 10 content creators aren't like this. They don't do this crazy stuff, but it's just that one out of 10 that just have to do this crazy stuff that just doesn't represent the majority. It's like those prank videos that do st stupid things. That's just as bad in my opinion, because you're promoting things to kids that they shouldn't be doing and You've got to remember that you are their idols. You are the person that they look up to. And when someone you look up to is doing something irresponsible, they're going to go out and copy that thing. It's what happens. So you either killing animals for entertainment or eating vast amounts of fast food for views. Kids are going to go, I want to do that. And I don't think that's a good message because 
it's been proven that without proper diets, people can get serious illnesses like diabetes and stuff. It's just not acceptable to me. And I'm sorry if I offend anyone in the mukbang community. If someone does it responsibly, please, this is not aimed at you. This is just me venting my frustrations with mukbang because I personally think not only are you in some cases killing animals, eating vast amounts of fast food that is evidently having a profound effect on your own health, which in turn sends a very bizarre message to your fans being that if you do this and if you continue these habits, you too can become extremely popular. And I know that that's not the intention with these videos. The intention, I suppose, is to kind of act in a similar way to ASMR, where it's like it's supposed to be relaxing and calming. But I think personally that this is something that's really harmful, and especially to young developing minds as well, who don't really understand what it means to have a balanced diet. So they're just they're, they're figuring stuff out. So if they see you eating all that, and they see you getting hundreds of thousands of views, what kind of message do you think that sends to them? It doesn't send a good message, I'll say that. And this comes from someone who has to regulate what they eat, because I am disabled, if you didn't know already, and I am very careful about what I eat because I can't exercise as much. Therefore, I have to be very careful. So I totally get it if you struggle with your weight. I totally get it. I'm not undermining people who are genuinely having issues with their weight. Not at all. Not in the slightest. I would never do that. But what I am saying is, purposely putting yourself in that situation for views, that is a disgusting concept to me, and I'm baffled as to why it's on YouTube. Maybe if, like, there are any mukbang fans in the comments below, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this, but at least for me, this is a disgusting concept in general. There are some people, obviously, who do it responsibly. This is not aimed at you. And obviously, I know I've used Nick Carlo, Avocado, and So Young as examples in this video. But they're not the only people who do it. I'm just using them because they are the most infamous examples. But if you do that, I personally just think it's wrong. And I think that you are promoting terrible things to people. I would go as far as to say it's as bad as the prank videos when people like Touch the Light would sit in bleach and stuff like that. It's sending the same message. It's sending the message of do this stupid thing, get views. It's just not a good message. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. As I say, comment down below what your thoughts are. I'll be sure to try and read as many of them as possible. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.